Greetings, unsettled souls! I gotta straighten my camera. Time for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Filmed this over a couple days, still can't get over the loss of Trivisano. Hey, for those of you remembering, um, we are doing the five chances to die. Um, many of you liked when a group of us went and filmed Helltown, and some of you liked uh, Trish in her commentary that she did with me. Um, her lovely fiancé is kind enough to watch their child on Halloween night while we go and shoot Five Chances to Die. Now, that's going to be posted anywhere from sundown to sunup the morning after Halloween going to film them during the course of Halloween night. And I'm asking you guys to let us know which ones you guys are going to like the best. We have five different locations that uh, we are going to. And a lot of this is due to the popularity of the Helltown video and the, uh, the trip to Moonville, which Creeper and I took. And I don't know if Creeper is going to be along for this one. Here's your winner, friends. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award winner. Seattle School Cancels Halloween Parade because it marginalizes students of color. What? Why? Because students of color can't make or buy a costume? Let me guess. All black people are poor, right? So they can't afford costumes? Is that what they're saying here? Because I think that sounds kind of racist. Or maybe they're saying, <laughs> What about cultural appropriation? What if a white kid dresses like Blade? What if a black kid dresses like Superman? Who gives a fart? I mean, literally. This is how dumb it is, friends. Look at this. A Seattle elementary school canceled its annual Halloween parade this year, saying that it marginalizes students of color who do not get, who do not celebrate the holiday. How about Ramadan? I don't give a sneeze, not a sneeze, about Ramadan. None. Am I marginalized if I go somewhere where it's being celebrated? No. Is anybody going to come running over, forcing me into their celebration? You must worship Allah and not eat half the day, which I do anyway, but... No. This is tripe. Meant, among other things, to cause division. The decision to cancel the pumpkin parade, where students can dress up in Halloween costumes, came from the racial equality team at the Benjamin Franklin Day Elementary School, who won the award. After five years of discussion, uh, the school district said, so... Everything is going so well at this school that uh, they could spend five years talking about the fate of a Halloween party each year. Money well spent. You know, whenever you hear that, uh, so it, it's for the children. We, we need to put a sticker on this album for the children. You know, whenever you hear that, if it's for the children, it means hose the adults. That's always a direct translation. Whenever you see the name racial equality, like racial equality team, whenever you see that, no BS alert. They're going to start lying about white privilege. They're going to be lying about you know, inherent white racism and, and all of this madness. It's, it's pointless. If you don't believe it's pointless, answer me this question. Why did Elizabeth Warren pretend to be an Indian instead of pretending to be white if there was no inherent benefit to being a minority? And that's coming from somebody who likely has uh, some kind of Indian in him due to divorce. I don't know what kind, but I know that I am, uh, my dad was Mexican, Italian, and Sicilian. So you can figure that out yourself. There are numerous community and neighborhood events where students and families who wish to can celebrate Halloween. A Seattle public school spokesperson said in a statement provided to KTTH radio talk show host Jason Rance, historically the pumpkin parade marginalizes students of color who do not celebrate the holiday. 
Specifically, these students have requested to be isolated on campus while the event took place. So rather than just have them in a separate area of the school and allow the fun to go on, the minority, you know what it looks like to be a minority. I know what it's like not to partake in a party that I don't want to be a part of without trying to shut it down. I know how to do that. In alliance with the SPS unwavering commitment to students of color, oh yes, by taking away their Halloween, specifically African-American males, the staff is committed to supplanting the Poplin Parade with more ex inclusive and educational opportunities. In other words, more liberal brainwashing. I don't see any way in which this actually addresses any equalities to the extent that there are any inequalities. Uh, Malkin, uh, he was a seven, his seven-year-old son attended the event. You know, it just seems like grandstanding on behalf of the principal and the staff, who are predominantly white. In other words, white people who won the Dunce Cap of the Month award, white people decided that black people don't want to celebrate Halloween, nor do their kids. Friends, that means you, you know, we you know what that means. It means you're going to get to see the Dunce Cap of the Month award. It's about to be right behind me here. You're also going to get to see the hat. And they are being mailed this, by the way. If I can figure out how my own computer works, don't tune out. You're going to want to see this hilarious. Um, they're going to get mailed this. And the, the way that happens is because when you guys donate to the show at the correct views of hotmail.com through PayPal, it pays for so much of this to happen, and, and which happens even quicker when I open the correct folder. And that is this folder. Again, that's the correct views at hotmail.com. So here we go. This is the award which they are uh, they earned. There's no other way to put it. I'm going to put the effect onto the screen so that you can see it as opposed to uh, my ugliness as it opens here. Which is doing with great speed. Also, gotta get oh, that's lovely. Welcome back. Nothing like live entertainment. I can do that all by myself. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Halloween is not racist. No one is forced to participate or not to participate in Halloween or any such event. Costumes, even those that portray another race, is not racist. No one gives a rat's ass about diversity, PC culture, or supposed cultural appropriation because it is a myth, I correctly wrote. For failing to understand these basic facts, they're not opinion, they're facts, you at Benjamin Franklin Day Elementary School win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award! Dunce! Now, I put a dunce cap on Crumpkin's Pumpkins. I, I used a Crumpkin's Pumpkin for that. And here is the actual award which they are winning. Let me bring the effect back to me, uh, hopefully without knocking everything over once again. Okay. Now, uh, keep in mind. Look at the look at the the faces on all the letters. I was very proud of myself. Um. Da da da! My bone man, a skeleton, racist. Even a bonehead such as myself knows better. Um. There was my pumpkin. Look at the great big twisty stem that I put on that. I've heard of Orange Man Bad from Dolts before, but this is too much. And of course, no ghosts. Now this is being sent along with that printout to the, uh, what is it, the Benjamin Franklin Day Elementary School. And I appreciate you for watching, hitting share, hitting subscribe, and for donating at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal and getting ready for the five chances to die that happens tomorrow night. Good night, friends. God bless.